But yeah, guys, here we are. Back again. It's a podcast, not a normal vlog. Um, yeah, it's been way too long. Every, I keep saying that every time. Um, but yeah, it's been a while. I can't even remember how long ago the last one was. It must have been before Italy. That was mad. That was a mad holiday. Um, that I had so many vlogs to make from that holiday that I couldn't really make a podcast to talk about the whole thing. It was mad. Um, but obviously... I got ill when I got back, I had like, not COVID, but like, lung related, like bronchitis or something. At one point I thought it was pneumonia, um, but yeah, that was traumatic. I have to call out an ambulance and go, okay, I'm ill, basically. Um, but yeah, that was uh, not pleasant. Um, some people knew about what the details of it, some people didn't. Um, all I can say is, I'm better now. Um, but yeah, I don't recommend passing out. It's not fun. Um, yeah. And so that was like five days in hospital after that. Um, just trying to get back to normal. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was just probably because I had too much fun in Italy. That's probably the reason. Um, and I don't regret that at all. It's, it's a weird time because, like, before I had this uh, short stay in hospital, it was like uh, the, the COVID fear was, like, kind of gone. I was not to worry. But now, because my immune system's a bit messed up, and I'm a, a bit, um, I don't know, what's the word? Vul vul more vulnerable than I was before, probably. Um, uh, I don't want any lung problems, thank you. Got enough of those. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But wearing a mask, like, no, we don't even have to. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm still being careful, of course. Not going out as, as normal. I haven't been on the bus in God knows how long. Still probably wouldn't risk that. Because here the government's gone a bit blasé about everything. They've gone from scaremongering to, like, not caring at all and trying to make everyone relax. Okay, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the continuation of this podcast. Um, that sound was terrible on that camera, and it kept dying on me, so I thought, what the hell, let's uh, um, add some bits to the podcast. Well, I'm re-recording half of it, technically, um, just because I hated the sound. Like, I know how annoying bad sound is. Um, yeah, the picture's not so good on this one. It's a webcam. Um um, but I'm probably going to invest in a better webcam so I can just podcast like this every time. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, like in the UK, we're so relaxed now about the whole COVID situation, the whole mask situation. I mean, like now it's like, well, oh yeah, go out, get, get on the bus, go on whatever. I mean, there's people that have to and have no choice, but like they're making out like nothing's happened. Um, going from scaremongering everyone to making us scared to leave the house. Um, I mean, now, like, everyone, you think about it, if they didn't live on social media before, now we definitely do. And all the anxiety that, that people are having, all the mental illnesses that it's leading to. Um, of course, they were around before technology, you know. But with anything, there's always downsides. I mean, when cars were invented, people were like, yay, they're brilliant get from A to B, and now the whole environment's messed up because fossil fuels um, aren't really good for the environment. Um, and, yeah, you know, people want to buy Teslas and stuff. Fair enough, I don't know. Um, they're making a lot of money, for sure. Um, and we do care about our environment for our future generations, I guess. Uh, some people don't, but you're seeing more and more things about it on everywhere, basically. Uh, rightly so, because the environment, like, this is where we live, you know. But what I'm trying to say is, like, going back to the point, um, you know, when the internet was first invented, people loved it, it was amazing, and a lot of good uh, purposes now, there's a lot of negativity on there, people get bullied and abused, and it leads to bad situations, people taking their own lives because the abuse they're getting by random strangers on Twitter like, or Instagram, like, 
will cause anxiety because the need to just scroll constantly it's like an addiction and uh you know you see other people with their fake perfect lives that we know they don't really have and none of us really have um you know there's there's power in truth i guess and there's a lot of narcissism out there online that can affect people in a serious way and they can end up with depression and anxiety and many more things um like that that have you know become the forefront of most like talking points now or when people talk about someone they know that's gone through that in the last two years let alone because of social media but because of the pandemic and the fear is brought to people and now it's just flipped and the government are like okay yeah but the rest of europe are looking at us like you're idiots you know um and apparently there's a pill you can take now uh that helps with covid i don't know if it stops the spread of covid or it reduces your symptoms um, but that can't replace a vaccine you know we've got anti-vaxxers it's just ridiculous i find it funny really um but yeah it's part of well, let me let me uh just in case i'm too far away i'm always concerned i'm too far from the mic i hate the sound of my own voice anyway so the distance don't really make a difference to that um but yeah there's a lot of things that they just stress with everyone out a lot of contradictions when it comes to politicians and the media um but what's new really what is new and you now personally like I'm on Instagram, yeah, but it'll just, I'll go on there and I'll get annoyed. Like, just the, the smallest thing. But, I don't know, just like, how it is in general as a place. Like, I don't know. I don't post regularly, I post to tell people I'm uploading videos, but like, here and there, and like, I do it thinking of my close friends that actually care about what I'm saying. No offence to anyone on Instagram. Um, but you know how, it, there's people on there that like, People add them and don't even know them. But they're on there. Um, I'm not on Twitter, so I haven't got that issue there. Um, but I just want to talk about this um, this concert where eight people died, this Travis Scott situation. And that's just crazy. Um, whether he realised what was going on, uh, well, he kind of did. He was like, someone's passing out in the audience, get an ambulance. But did anything really happen? No, because eight people died at his concert in a mosh pit and we know what concerts are like they get crazy people go mad start getting hysterical you know too much alcohol and other substances um and then his apology video i saw was just terrible it's like a kid when he's forced to apologize to all his class at school and he gets awkward and nervous about it uh, it's just very strange and yeah sometimes it's, it's a could have been an accident we don't know the ins and outs but the fact is his apology was not good the way he dealt with it was not good um and this type of thing has happened before you know i would say the ariana grande concert in manchester well that was terrorist that was terrorist related but her reaction was brilliant to that she helped out a lot after that um and i want to see him doing the same showing that he cares i mean the amount of drugs he was probably on he probably didn't know what planet he was on i don't know that's me just saying that it's guessing but i've been to concerts where it's crazy and you know people are throwing uh well uh the one i went to they were throwing beer i was drenched in beer like you know anything can happen and yeah, it's just the world today, like, he's got a lot of young fans, and they've been, they've seen what's gone on, and he's got a, like, he's got responsibility in how, like, how he reacts to the bad situation. Because, yeah, you can't control it, but surely you can react to it in some way. Better than he has, anyway. Anyway, so, yeah, there's that going on, but, like, with all this stress and anxiety in the world all these negative things you know there's got to be ways to deal with it surely 
you know, um, I don't. I mean, meditation is not proven, but I've learned a lot about that over the years, and tried it myself, and it does help in in its own way. Meditation does help to deal with this everyday stress. I mean, not everyone can sit still and do that, and there's other ways. Um, you know, going to the gym if you have like panic attacks or anxiety, that helps because it helps you release the, all that energy that's built up. Because um, the thing about anxiety is it's like that fight or flight mode that certain animals have. We've all got, every animal has it really. Like that thing that tells you, oh, there's danger. Let me run. Like if, like, you know, if you're being chased by a lion. Like if you're, if you're. Um, whatever, I don't know. We're not going to say to talk about animals, but I'm saying they have that instinct to run when they see danger, a predator. Um, to, but we can't run away from the everyday stress of life, the bills, all that stuff. We can't run from that. So all that energy builds up and can lead to panic attacks and things like that. But you've got to put that energy somewhere. So going to the gym, you know, go for a walk, get some fresh air or meditate, you know. Personally, I listen to a lot of music that helps. It doesn't always help. Sometimes it makes you feel worse about certain things. Depends what it is. But um, no, I've tried meditation and it's just, you know, that mindfulness type of meditation uh, is quite effective. And they say it does increase like compassion. It certainly makes you appreciate the little things. Like, you know. It, it's based on your breathing, so, you know, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Um, some people like to count each breath in and out, you know. Um, it's, it does improve focus, so for those things you want to have focus for, it helps in some ways just to, like, you know, channel your your energy, I guess. And then just to know that Stuff's going to happen around you, like, that you cannot control. It's just how you react to it. You know, how you treat those around you, I guess, in some ways. But if something bad's happening, how you respond to it. And good or bad, it should be positive, your your reaction to whatever's going on. Um, and with that mentality, I guess, you're going to appreciate the little things more. Or maybe just not worry about things that actually don't affect you like things on Instagram or Twitter you know they don't affect your day-to-day -day life I mean that if you let them they can I'm not saying it's as easy as meditate and you'll forget all your troubles no it just helps you you know be a bit more clear in your thoughts I guess because we're always gonna have a lot of thoughts running around in our heads, it's about just understanding that they'll come and go and like how you respond to them. Um, you know, because no one's going to be, we're, we're not. Uh, if, if you want a way to just de stress. Just chill out, really. I mean, I would say play video games. Uh, but when I do that, I just get more angry. Be it FIFA or whatever other game. Grand Theft Auto, Fortnite. They all make me angry in some way, those games. Um, it could just be the people I'm playing online with, but... Who knows? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Do look into meditation if you're interested. If you're not, then, well, I mean, I'm sure you'll find something that, that will help you get through stress of life. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I don't want to be on there moaning all day, whinging about things. Um, so I want you know, I'll talk about what's been going on with me, really. I mean, Tottenham have a new manager, Antonio Conte. We got rid of Nuno. We said goodbye. And if you saw my vlog, I was at the game that led to the sacking. 
Um, but we've got Antonio Conte, Italian manager. That kind of style is needed to be a bit more tough. You know, to time waste when we're winning a game. To, you know, win penalty shootouts. I mean, Conte's done it all. I mean, you know, he's won wherever he's gone. He's a serial winner. So hopefully he can do that at Spurs. But if he doesn't, then no one can. You know what I mean? It's like the biggest challenge probably of his career. But enough about football. Well, about that kind of football. Um, back to Powerchair football, uh, up to Nottingham. Well, I've, that was like three or four weeks ago. Went up there for the beginning of the season, scored a banging goal. Um, and we're going up there soon in December again, which you'll see on the vlog. Um, so that's exciting. You know, something to look forward to. Back to normality in some ways. I mean, it's not like I'm going out like I was before regularly, but um, one of my good friends moved back to London as well. She was stuck in Italy during the whole pandemic and COVID, so it's good to see old friends. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, when you've been friends with someone that long, uh, you'd call them an old friend, technically. Um, but yeah, that's that's the life we're living at the moment. And yeah, I mean, it's got to be grateful for those things, like those opportunities to do stuff that's actually worthwhile and not just be stuck on social media, worrying about what other people think of you or judging them or being judged. I don't know. I mean, I'm always on TikTok and there's just so much rubbish on there. But so much ridiculously funny stuff too. Um, but yeah, sometimes on Instagram I just laugh at certain people how they they think they got it all figured out. It's just funny. Um, but yeah, don't try and I mean, you know, if you're on there, but don't try. Don't be on there too long. Try and have a balance. when maybe you might not have been before. Um, I know it changes my mood um, in a short space of time, but, you know, I just enjoy the moments, the good ones, because the last two years have been less of them. It's been difficult to, you know, get together with people, but we're slowly getting there, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not as fearful of COVID as I was, what the, gov the government kind of made us that way, and the news, but I tried not to, like, watch too much news during this whole crisis. Like, with the petrol thing, it was just, like, people exaggerated and they, they weren't thinking clear, clearly. It was ignorance on most people's part. Like, panicking over nothing. Um, there is a shortage of drivers for lorries, don't get me wrong. HGV drivers, whatever they are. Um, there, there, there's a shortage, we know. Uh, but that's kind of Brexit's fault. I'm not going to blame who voted here or there, but yeah, Boris, I mean, we could blame him, but like, it's not one person to blame, because we're the people that voted. I'm not judging you if you voted either way. I didn't vote full stop, so what can I say? Uh, so you can judge me for that if you want. Um, but here we are. Brexit, yeah. I'm not going to do a Boris impression. Um, but yeah. I'm going to end, um, I think I'm going to end it there, yeah. Enough said, really, got what I wanted to say off my chest, really. It's been a shorter podcast than usual, because uh, I'm not going to sit here for it, like, forever and just moan about stuff. Um, I mean, I could, couldn't I? Um, but yeah, guys, just like, I don't know, be nice to people. Maybe you are already, but like, just appreciate Everyone's going through something, good or bad, at different times. Um, you know, just... I don't know. Don't... Uh, you can buy... Don't buy... Well, I mean... Why would I say buy a Tesla? I don't work for Elon Musk, but, like... Yeah, it's just... 
I don't know. I love a petrol car, though. And you can't say that now. It's like, oh, you hate the environment then. I'm like, no. I love the sound of a V8 engine. What can I say? <laughs> um, but yeah, Teslas are pretty cool. Why well, am I even talking still? Um, anyway, guys, yeah. So half the video was done the other day. Half this podcast was done today. And here we are at the end. The second time I'm ending it. So I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, I'm going to see you real soon. Take it easy, guys. Peace.